So in this video I'm going to show you how to write data from Excelsius to a web service. Um, so this web service can really do anything that you want it to do. It can write to a database, it can write to a file, it, it can do anything that you can do in code. However the web service that I'm going to use is a web service that I've written in visualstudio.net and it just performs the two upper and two lower functions uh, on strings. So basically capitalizes all the letters and makes them lowercase. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've already gotten it working on my screen here. So what I'll do is I'll get into uh, the web service itself real quick. So I'm using the same web service that I used inside of my um, uh, Beginner's Guide to Excelsius Episode 4. Um, however, I've added two methods, a two upper and two lower, and basically I take a value and I return that same value but calling the two upper method. And then the two lower method, I basically just call the two lower method on it. And this is again written in Visual Studio .NET 2008. It can be any web service, a Java web service, whatever you want it to be. And you can do more in this code than just what I've done here. But however, for, for simplicity standpoint, that's all I'm doing. Um, so I'll switch back to my Celsius dashboard. And I'll quickly just show you working before I get into how I did it. So I've got a drop down box with a list of names. And they're all lowercase. And I'll select Adam. And notice that Adam gets written over here using capital letters. Now I realize I could use some Excel functions to do that. However, this, you know, like I said, this example is not really the greatest, but it, it's simple. Um, so I'll explain how that works. So if I go up to my data, my manage connections, and I have a web service connection here. On my definitions tab, I have the WSDL URL. And if you if you want to learn more about web service connections in Excelsius, you can watch my beginner's guide uh, part four video, and you'll get that. But basically, there's input values and output values. So what I'm doing is I'm sending a value to my web service, which is which is my input value. So I'm, I select that, and that is actually in cell A1. Hit OK. And then the result gets written to B1. Notice it's there. And then on the Usage tab, I tell it to refresh on load. But then I also tell it to change whenever cell A1, to run whenever cell A1 changes. So that's it for the setting up the web service. However, just to show you how this, you know, this works, I have this combo box which has a series, which I've just hard coded uh, values. And what I do is I have the destination set for cell A1, and I have the label as the insertion type. So when I run it the value that I've selected shows up in A1. So again, I'll preview this. And every time I select a value, I'm actually executing that web service. Um, and you notice that it goes to upper. So what I'll do here is just to show you that this is really working. I'll say to lower. And I'll remap these values. A1 the result to B1 and hit close and now I got to edit my labels and I'm not going to edit them all I'll edit Steve and I'll add them and I'll just do the first letter hit OK preview so Eric to lower is the same thing however if I select Steve there you go Steve's lowercase Adam Adam is lowercase. So I haven't done any Excel functions to do that. I've always just used my web service. So the key to this this video is that you can do anything you want in a web service basically. You can call this web service, you can send data to it, you can receive data back, you can write to a, a database, you can write to a file, you can call uh, an XML feed, you can call off some business logic inside of your ERP systems at where you work. You can do anything that you want. So this is just a simple example of how to write data to a web service.